The story from chapters 19 to 21 of the book of Judges in the Old Testament is one of the most disturbing in the Bible, containing content that may be considered inappropriate for minors and likely to trigger past traumas. This narrative explores deep themes about morality and the consequences of human actions, offering an intense and provocative narrative that challenges readers to reflect on justice and human nature. I invite you to explore these passages together, preparing for a detailed and revealing analysis of their teachings and impact. Chapters 19-21 of the Book of Judges detail a disturbing story in an Israel without a king, showing the severe consequences of the lack of leadership and moral order. This episode narrates the tragic story of a Levite and his concubine, triggering a spiral of violence and retaliation among the tribes, and reveals profound lessons about justice and human nature in times of anarchy. In a time without a king in Israel, a Levite from the north acquires a woman from Bethlehem as a concubine. After being unfaithful and taking refuge in her father's house, the Levite undertakes a journey to reclaim her, immersing us in a narrative of betrayal, quest for redemption, and the tensions of a society in disarray. This story from the Book of Judges challenges us to explore themes of loyalty and justice in a context of social chaos. In a dramatic narrative from the Book of Judges, Levite and his concubine travel from Bethlehem toward Ephraim. Approaching Jebus at dusk, they decide not to stop in a foreign city and opt to continue to Gibeah or Ramah, seeking safety among their own people. This episode highlights the tensions and mistrust in a divided land, marking the prelude to significant and revealing events in the biblical narrative. The Levite and his concubine arrive in Gibeah at nightfall, expecting hospitality according to Israeli customs. Contrary to expectations, no one in the city offers them shelter. At the end of the night, an old man realizes their situation and approaches, marking the beginning of a series of tragic and revealing events that underscore the breakdown of social norms and the growing tension in the community. In the Book of Judges, it is indicated that the Levite and his concubine, after being rejected in Gibeah, find refuge in the house of an old man. Ensuring they only need a place to rest, this encounter marks the beginning of events that will test the morality of the community, triggering a series of dramatic and profound consequences for everyone involved. Then, this Levite man, his servant, and his concubine spend the night at this man's house in Gibeah. And then this happens. While they were having fun, suddenly, wicked men of the city surrounded the house and banged on the door. They said to the owner of the house, the old man, bring out the man who came to your house so we can have sex with him. In Gibeah, some men attempt to attack a guest protected by an old man, who offers his daughter and the guest's concubine to protect him, revealing the extreme moral depravity of the time. The old man offers his virgin daughter and the man's concubine, for them to abuse and do whatever they want with, but not to commit this outrageous act against this man. Verse 25 says, but the man would not listen to them. Then he took his concubine and brought her out to them. They raped her and abused her all night until dawn. At dawn they let her go. At dawn, a man finds his concubine collapsed and lifeless at the door after being abused throughout the night. With no response to his call, he puts her on his donkey and returns home. What is going to happen next is very sad and horrible, but it goes like this. When he entered his house, he took a knife, held his concubine, cut her into twelve pieces, limb by limb, and then sent her throughout the territory of Israel. Everyone who saw it said, Nothing like this has happened or been seen from the day the Israelites came up from the land of Egypt until now. Consider it, discuss it, and speak up. This man took his concubine home, cut her into twelve pieces, and undoubtedly attached a letter to each piece of his deceased concubine and sent a different piece of her body to the twelve tribes of Israel with a letter detailing exactly what had been done by their own brothers, one of the twelve tribes of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin. And when these other tribes saw and read what had happened to this woman, they said, nothing like this has happened throughout our history. Now there is much more to the story in chapters 20 and 21. So I want you to wait, but here is where I want to start looking at some lessons we can learn from this. The first lesson is this. The absence of accountability leads to poor decisions, as seen in Judges chapter 19 verse 1, where the lack of a king in Israel leads people to act without respect for the law, resulting in unthinkable actions. The second lesson is to treat everyone as bearers of the image of God, criticizing the mindset that values some lives more than others, and emphasizing seeing people as worthy beings, not objects in inappropriate media. But here is the third thing I want to highlight in this video. The more you and I move away from God, 
the more vulnerable we become to unthinkable acts, as shown in Judges chapter 19:21, with the degeneration of Israel as they distance themselves from the divine. Moving away from God makes you more prone to sin. The story in Judges does not end with chapter 19. It worsens and leads to a civil war in Israel, culminating in massive loss of life and only 600 Benjaminite men surviving. In Judges chapter 21, the 11 tribes lament the possible extinction of Benjamin, left with only 600 men without women to ensure their continuation. The fourth lesson is that every poor decision brings inevitable consequences, as shown by the war between the tribes of Israel and the lasting repercussions for Benjamin. You can choose your sin, but not your consequences. The Israelites kill men of Jabesh Gilead and take 400 women for the Benjamites. Yet, 200 Benjamites remain without wives, exacerbating the problem of previous decisions. So what happens is that they have to make another poor decision and say, the Israelites suggest to the Benjamites to kidnap women during a festival to evade a previous oath, thus allowing 200 Benjamite men to obtain wives and preserve their tribe. Now, personally, I know this is a crazy story and I tried to summarize it as quickly as I could. But the point is this, one bad decision leads to another, affecting many people. The story of Judges shows the extended consequences of such decisions, but also highlights the grace of God even amidst destruction. The Benjamites rebuilt their cities and resumed their lives after kidnapping women during a festival. Despite the consequences of their actions, God allowed the tribe to survive, emphasizing that every decision has consequences, a central theme in Judges, where everyone acted according to their own judgment due to the lack of a cane. Oftentimes the consequences cannot even be measured and are ones we cannot choose. See you in the next video, goodbye for now, God bless you. Remember the importance of remaining faithful to God and resisting the temptations of Satan, for in Christ we have victory and the promise of a glorious future. God bless you. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, share your impressions, and don't forget to like.